First at 530, a new poll asking voters about the upcoming election in Michigan suggests that the races, some of them, are tightening up. Political reporter Rick Alvin is here now to wade through some of these numbers for us. Rick. Yeah, we've got a lot of numbers to look at. Exactly right, because these recent polls have started to change a bit, and they're not all lining up. For example, our pollsters at Epic MRA released a poll last week that showed the governor up by 11 points. Now, that was a month-to-month -month gain of five points for Tudor Dixon and showed that the race was closing, as you would expect, towards the end of a race, right? But at least two other polls, one from CBS News from a week ago that showed Whitmer up only by six, and now a new poll commissioned by the White Law Firm and the Michigan Association of Broadcasters gives further evidence that the race for governor might be closing with Dixon trailing Whitmer by only five points. Now, individually, these polls are all different in design and scope, but they all conclude the race may be closing as Election Day draws near, and not necessarily a surprise, as I point out. But the big spread in the numbers in less than a week is a little bit unusual. So to look at the race and what it looks like with a combination of polls, we go to Real Clear Politics. And it shows that as, a, as late as October 8th, which is this end over here, it shows Whitmer had an 11.3% advantage in the RCP average of polls. Now that tracks with our poll that was in the field at the same time and had Whitmer up by 11. After factoring in the MAB poll and another showing the race at a tie, the average from Real Clear Politics now is down to 5.2%. And they consider this race a toss-up. So whose numbers are right? Well, perhaps all of them are. Because as I've said for decades, a poll is a snapshot of a moment in time. And all of these polls were taken at marginally different times with marginally different methodology. The outcomes might be expected to be different. But in all cases, it would appear the race for governor is getting closer as we get nearer Election Day. So we're tightening up three weeks out. Yep. And here comes the campaign. Oh, boy. It's going to get intense here over the next couple it, of weeks. It sure is. We just found out NBC News uh, notified us yesterday that President, former President Barack Obama is going to be in Michigan on the 29th, just 11 days before uh, the election. He'll be here to campaign with Governor Whitmer and other Democrats in Metro Detroit. Uh, one of only three stops that have been announced by the former president. So it makes it pretty exclusive mm -hmm. territory. He's going to go to Georgia, uh, and then later on the 29th, he's going to go to Wisconsin. Um, so just a few weeks after former President Trump was in uh, the state to stump for Republicans, it again really points out the national attention, the national importance but that both Republicans and Democrats are putting on Michigan. Uh, and of course, we had a lot of national news coverage uh, and Cruz here for the debate last Thursday yeah. night, which is not normal. So, I mean, right. there is a lot of attention being paid to Michigan politics. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Heating up. All right, thanks. Yeah. As you mentioned, the Dixon and Whitmer squared off on our debate stage last week. It was their first televised debate, and if you missed it, you can watch the whole thing right now at woodtv.com.